Here's my final submission for Punisher's Infinite Journeys Challenge. If you care to listen further, I'll talk through my process and try to make it quick. First, I had to come up with an idea. I'm more of a technical artist, so developing a vision is always slow and painful for me. But I found this picture and liked the dark, cool foreground and bright yellow background. I also found this film clip that seemed interesting and liked something I could adapt into that yellow background. Next, I sketched out my idea, starting with a rough sketch over the provided starter scene. Since the colors were the main goal, I blocked that in first. Then I took time to think through what everything is, what is its purpose, and what the scene looks like. At this point I decided to try a cartoon rendering style, partly because it would support the bright and stylized color scheme I wanted to achieve, but also because I figured a realistic piece would get lost in the ocean of amazing talent in this competition, but a stylized piece might have a chance of standing out. I blocked in my characters in 3D just to make sure everything fit. I downloaded these pre-rigged models from Mixamo and sketched over them based on my concept drawing. I had to paint over my ugly models just to know if they had potential to work. When I reached this point, however, I knew I had nailed it. Here are the characters and props modeled out with flat colors, and an outline test. For shading I just used a compressed ambient occlusion to blend between the main color and the shaded color. I was surprised by how nice it looked without any further adjustment. I painted the ornamental clothing details in Substance Painter. Here's the girl, and here's the valet, and here are some leather props with the lighter color added around the curvature edges. Blocking in, and for a little while I explored having a train in the background. I kitbashed an engine and thought maybe this is what it could look like. But the idea of a train seemed redundant since the character is already on a train, so I looked at some Arabian mythology and took the idea of the rock, which is a mountain-sized bird. But birds are hard to make with dynamic feathers and everything everywhere, so I just made it a huge turtle. As an inside joke, the valet's notebook actually says, Rock, the great bird looks more like a turtle to me. I painted the clouds by hand on layers to give them some nice movement. The basic render setup was really simple. I rendered the entire scene in shadow and again in bright light. I then used a high contrast edge light as a mask to blend the light over the dark. I rendered it all in redshift but switched over to Arnold since it had a fantastic tune shader for the outlines. I added some sky stingrays and other background details to make it look like their train is riding along a cliffside or something. To make it look more like cartoons, which are often animated at 12 frames per second, I animated the characters to update every other frame, but kept the train car and bags moving smoothly to make the characters stand out with their hand-drawn feel while keeping the whole scene from feeling choppy. At this point the girl still didn't have a mouth, but she only faces the camera for half a second so I just drew it in by hand. And here's the final product. It was fun and exhausting and took just over 100 hours for these 5 seconds of animation, and I'm ready to just play video games in my free time for a while now. Thank you for watching.